In this video, we take a look at how to create a very simple, minimal church flyer for Father's Day celebration, which can also be used for conferences and other church flyer designs, all in Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the channel. Over here, we make videos like this. If that is something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. Inside the description will be a link to download all the resources that I'll be using in this video. You can click on that and download the resources and practice. And after you've practiced and you want to share it with me, you can send it to me on Instagram and then we can chat over there. Now let's get into Photoshop and let's get started. Okay, so right in Photoshop, you're going to design this for Instagram or social media per se. So we are going to go straight away and create a new document that is eight by eight or four by four inches anyhow you want it so we'll go ahead and we'll click on create over here the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring in a background so we go to file and then place embedded and then we can bring our background in here so i got this kevy white colored background from most of the pictures that i'm using are from google and this is not a real program in the first place so um, the images are subjected to copyright and I acknowledge the rightful owners of these images. So we're going to place this one over here and then we can send it on top. You use your controls over here to open it up till the part. You can zoom it out if you want to. So we want to make sure that it covers the entire canvas and then you want to decrease the opacity of this background. So we can bring this down a little bit to about, let's say 60%. All right, so the next image that we want to bring in, we go to file and then place embedded. And then we are going to, so I got two of these, like a father and a son or like a father and a daughter, anyone you want them. So I got two of these from unsplash.com. So you're going to place this one also here. So we can open this one up to make sure that it also fills the entire image. So something like that. And then we're going to double click on that. We're going to right click and rasterize the layer, press ctrl plus shift plus u to desaturate it and then we are going to set the opacity to the very minimum like somewhere around 5 or 6 or even 7 so something that will show them in the background but not that much. So basically these two are just going to serve as the background nothing fancy because we are going the minimal way. Now to move on we are going to add a rectangle to this so we are going to choose the rectangle tool from here and then we're going to create a rectangle at this very point you can give it any color at all and then you can also open it up a little bit like that once we bring our images in we might want to readjust this particular rectangle so we can just proceed from here so we go to the layer thumbnail and then double click on that and then we are going to give it a color somewhere around here we don't want it to be too much of grayish and then we don't want it to be too much of whitish so in between white and then gray somewhere around here should work best for us and then we can go ahead and click ok at this point we can start introducing our images and like i said earlier all the images that i'm using i got them from google it is not an actual program so we go into our folders and then we have all the images so i chose a couple of pastors from um, ghana so these are all pastors from ghana so the first image that i'm going to use is the reverend eastwood anava so I'll pick this first image and the background has already been taken care of so the background is already removed so we can place him somewhere around here and we assume that he's going to be the host of this program I'm using this because I've already made a video of using him and then that video did really well if you've not checked that you can check it out here all right so we place him right over here we can right click and go to the blending options and then we are going to add a bit of drop shadow to him so that he wouldn't look that very because his attire is almost like the background so we can adjust the opacity of the shadow the drop shadow that we created and then we can click ok okay so for the rest of the images we are going to place them in a very nice rectangular shape so we are going to create a rectangle over here now to make sure that we don't get confused or frustrated we are going to change this to a color that is well brightening and then after we're done with everything we will change it back to gray so that we don't get confused so on top of this rectangle i'm going to choose the rectangle tool again and then i'm going to create a very simple 
basic rectangle like this i'm going to double click on the layer thumbnail and change the color to white so that we can see it right over there i'll make one duplicate from here so now we have two rectangles over here we have the top one and then the one underneath so we are going to change the color of the one underneath here to any color let's say blue here and then we will bring it up a little bit so somewhere around here like that so you take your time to position it to the side that you want so we want something like this but we don't want a full solid color so what we're going to do is we are going to decrease the fill to zero percent and that means that it is going to be zero we right click on that and then we are going to blend in options and then we are going to add a stroke to this one so we select the stroke from here we come to the stroke type and then we are going to choose color and then we don't want the size to be 27 so we will decrease that to something very small like six and then we are going to change the color to a color like this it should be fine yeah and then we will click ok so we have the color already set and then we are going to click ok from here as well i think i don't really like this color so let me just go back to the color and let's go for something like this i think this should be fine so we click ok and then ok from here and then you take your time to reposition or adjust this particular rectangle and then we are good to go so we click ok and then we are going to select the first rectangle and then the second rectangle we press ctrl g to group that so that it will be one and then we are going to make duplicate of this one so we press ctrl j to make a duplicate we drag it to the right side and then we are going to select these two groups that we just created by holding ctrl press ctrl j to make one more duplicate and drag it underneath here and then we are going to select the four of them by holding ctrl and then we press ctrl t to transform it a little bit now once we have this we can then go ahead and add our images so we are going to select the rectangle after one after the other so this is the first rectangle we select that rectangle go to file and then place embedded and then we are going to place our first image so the first image is going to be the the most reverend pork of number four so once you bring him here you're going to right click and then create a clipping mask now note that this image is a png the background has already been taken care of because i used it in a video and you can check that video also over here so i'm going to transform that image a little bit like that transform him up a little bit since because his background is already plain we are going to give him a background so we will select the rectangle behind him so this rectangle you double click on that and then you are going to give him a background from let's say his image or perhaps let's go for something like this it should be fine so this is going to be fine and then we click ok now we choose the second rectangle over here and then we go to file and then place embedded and then we are going to place the second image so i got a couple of pictures of bishop dark and then i'm going to place him also over here so you right click and then you create a clipping mask press ctrl t and then you transform it a little bit like that and then you realize that for bishop dark's image we didn't actually take off the background because the background already looks very nice so you are going to make the decision to either take off all the backgrounds and then give them a different backgrounds or the same backgrounds like this so i'm going to do the same thing for the rest of the images and then i'll catch you when i'm done all right so once we have done all of these so we have um, the images over here so we can select these images all of them and then select the last one here and we regroup or we put all of those group in another group so we are going to press ctrl g to group that and then we can call this one pictures so that we don't get confused okay so this is going to comprise of all the pictures over here excluding the main so we can edit this one also the name and then we call it the main pictures or something like that so once we're done with this you remember that initially we went with a grayish type of rectangle but because we wanted to bring the images in we change it to red so that it would be clear for us so now that we're done we can go back to the rectangle double click on the layer thumbnail and change it back to something more grayish like this and then since we have all our pictures here let me just Put this one up here so since we have all our pictures here we can just push it to the right 
to the left side a little bit to make sure that it is centered and now it is time to add our test so on top of the main picture we are going to add our test i've got the test already typed so i'm going to just quickly go through this so the first thing you need to do is you go and choose your test tool and then you are going to type or click over here so something like that let me just go and copy the test and then we're going to paste it right over here so for the color we're going to select all of that and choose this particular color this is the hex code if you want to use that and then you are going to keep it left aligned so something like that you press ctrl t and then you are going to transform it over here like this as well and then you can position it over here so since this is not for any particular church and again since it is not a real program that is why we are using name of church and then we can also choose something like the ellipse over here create a very simple ellipse like this and that is going to be the place for the logo so if you have a logo as well you can just put it over there now once we're done with that we are going to make a duplicate of this particular test ctrl j to do that and then we bring it down here a little bit and then we can go and copy the next step and then we are going to paste it over here but for that we want it right aligned so we're going to position it right over here and on top of that we are going to write topic so we go for the rounded rectangle over here create a very simple rectangle like that and then we are going to type in the topic so we're going to have topic and change the color to white so click ok and then ok from here and then we are going to position it inside of that rectangle that we created all right so we're done with the heading so we can select from the ellipse to the name of the church we group that and then we can call that the heading all right so now it is time to add the main the main theme and this video is geared towards the upcoming father's day big shout outs to every father that is watching this particular video you guys are so awesome so the main theme is going to be honoring the fathers and then the topic is going to be what we have on the left side over here so we're going to choose our test tool and then left click over here so we are quickly going to type honoring the fathers over here so honoring and then we're going to bring it over here now you realize that all of the tests that i'm using are all capitalized but for this one i don't want it capitalized so i'm going to go to the toggle character all caps i'm going to turn that off so that it will be small letters and for that we're going to make sure that it is centered and the font that we're going to use is called scriptina so we're going to bring that one over here so you can press ctrl t and then open it up a little bit we are going to right click on this layer go to the blending options and then we are going to add a gradient to it so we click on the gradient overlay and go to the gradient pack if you are using photoshop 2021 you go to the purples and then scroll to the very bottom and then you'd have this purple like type of gradient over there so this is the gradient that i'm using if you don't have photoshop 2021 and you want to use the same things these are the hex codes all right so once you you're done with it you're going to click ok and then ok from here we are going to add one more test that says the father so we go and choose our test tool and then we are going to type fathers over here so for that particular test we are going to choose a font called bebas i'll leave all links in the description to download the font as well so we are going to choose this particular one and then we are going to open it up over here so we right click on that as well go to the blending options and then we are going to add a gradient overlay to that we are not going to maintain this same gradient overlay instead you scroll to the bottom and we are going to use this particular gradient overlay instead these are the hex codes if you want to use them so we are going to click ok from here now let's bring the fathers at the very bottom over here and we don't want to keep this very plain like fathers very plain so we are going to just get rid of the t over here get rid of that and then we hit on the tab key just once or twice or you hit on the tab key once and then the space bar once as well and then we are going to bring in something in here so we are going to open this particular um tie vector that i got on the internet as well and then we are going to get rid of the background so you choose the magic one selection to left click and then get rid of the background and then we can send it into a document or the project that we are working on so you press ctrl t to transform that and you remember that i used this in last year father's day 
video as well you can check it up over here as well so we are going to transform it very neatly like that and take our time to position it you can zoom in press ctrl t to transform it and make sure that it is at the position that you want it to be and after that we're going to just hold alt and then drag this effect onto the tie and then it blends seamlessly with the fathers that we just created so we can select this particular test and that of the honoring and then we group that and call it the main theme or something like that so you can press ctrl t to transform it any how you want it to be like now it is time to add the very bottom sections and we are going to start off with the date so we are going to place the date right over here so on top of the main team we are going to choose our test tool and then the date is going to be june 19th and the time is going to be 9 a.m so we're going to place it right over here change the font type to poppins and then we are going to choose medium over here so we click ok and then we'll press ctrl t to transform that a little bit as well and then we are going to place it right over here and then we are going to make sure that we have the effect on the fathers onto the date as well so we are just going to hold alt and drag it onto it as well like that now it is time to add the names of the speakers so we are going to create a very simple rectangle at the very bottom over here so like this as well we are still going to maintain this same color that we we used for all of these ones so we click ok and inside of that rectangle we are going to place a vector in it so we go to file and place embedded and then you are going to choose this particular one over here modern white background vector so we are going to place that on top of it right click and rasterize that layer and then we are going to set this to multiply so we are going to add a layer mask to it you realize that it is reflecting on all of these images and it looks nice so we are going to add a layer mask to this and then we are going to brush off just the parts that looks very kind of bold so we are going to just get rid of this part and then we will leave it like this so it reflects onto the images and it looks very nice from here actually so on top of this we are going to write the speakers so we are going to make a duplicate of the test that we created for the date and send it on top of all of that we've created and then we can bring it over here so we are going to right click and then clear the layer style because we don't want the gradient on it double click on the t and then we can change the color to white so you click ok and then you can bring it on top here so i'm going to select all of that and paste my speakers over here all right so i'm going to transform this a little bit like that and then i'm going to position it in the middle like so okay so we are going to make one more duplicate ctrl j bring it down here and i'm going to paste in the name of the speakers over there so we select that and then we are going to paste it right over here some of them are caps some of them are lower key so we are going to select all of that go to the toggle character and select all caps and then we can transform it a little bit like that and then we can center it over here so we are going to select the speakers and then we are going to open it horizontally like this a little bit like that will be fine and then we can zoom in let's open up our rectangle here a little bit because I, I feel like there is space over there so you can go up a little bit push the speakers up also and then we can open this one up like that so i'm going to add a bit of elements to this to make it look way better so the first one is on top of the rectangle here we're going to create a triangle so you select the triangle and then you can create a triangle over here you can hold shift to create the perfect triangle press ctrl t right click and then you can flip it vertically like that and then you are going to change the color to the color that we are using for this particular rectangle the background here so we select that and then we can push it in here a bit so that it looks very nice over there so we can open it up something like this is okay and then the last thing we're going to add will be some sort of elements that i used so we are going to open those elements as well all links in the description so we are going to choose the magic one tool here get rid of the background like that and then we are going to select first select this particular one here press ctrl j to copy that 
and then we can send it into our document so we are going to place that over here press ctrl t and then you can transform it very neatly like that we go back to this and then we are going to undo the selection that we did we create a selection for this particular one right over here make a duplicate and then we can send it over here so you press ctrl t right click and then we can rotate it clockwise so something like that press ctrl t and then you can transform it nicely and then you position it right over here so we can select all of these three send it to the top and call it the elements and then we can select from the names of the speakers to the date and then we can call that the footer now for this particular one i don't know whether deepening it like this is okay or maintaining it is good. let me know your thoughts in the comment section of course and just like that you create a very simple minimal church flyer for father's day you can use this for conference events and corp even corporate type of conference designs now one more thing i don't really think i like the background of this one here so let me just quickly just change it to something from here i think this looks way better all right i hope this video was helpful if it was a subscribe to the channel will be so very caring of you thank you so very much for sticking around to watch this video i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye